Fuck it. You know what I mean? Whatever. Fuck it. Do it live. Do it live. All right. So let's start over. All right, guys. Thanks again for joining me again for today's episode. Today's episode was actually part of Pineapple Palooza. Please click down in the links below if you want to see Pineapple Palooza. Um, but this is the second half of Pineapple Palooza. You know, uh, YouTube decided to cut my stream halfway through it. Um, and it cut the stream right as I was about to begin my coconut shrimp recipe. So guess what? Now we have a separate video and this is going to be my coconut shrimp recipe, AKA the other half of the live stream. So we're going to just, you know, edit all the front part out. You know what I mean? All the messy part the you know, as we're trying to get the stream back on and, uh, you're going to be seeing this from this point on, as we were about to start making, uh, the batter. Okay, for coconut shrimp. So basically what we're gonna be making is a batter that's, uh, you know, about half, uh, it's, it's almost like a beer batter slash tempura batter slash whatever, it's a batter. Basically, it's a bunch of dry ingredients with some sparkling water of some kind, whether it's beer or just, you know, sparkling water or sparkling something. Um, and then we mix it together to make a nice kind of fluffy, airy, um, batter that eventually what we're gonna be doing is just dipping the shrimp in there and then you know we're gonna be uh, you know getting the coated shrimp dipping it in uh, coconut okay that we have over here all right we're gonna do that and then that's it we're gonna fry them up all right so but we're, you know let's just get a few things out of the way you know to make it easier for myself moving forward all right so um, real quick let's uh, let's start measuring the flour all right so so it's one I mean, half a cup of flour, right? Is this that? No, this is the other side. Let's do it like that. So half a cup of flour. So shout out to everyone out there. I appreciate you guys and your patience. You know, technology isn't always uh, going to be working 100% with us. So we got to do what we can. Cornstarch, it says a quarter of a cup. <clears throat> So half of that. Okay. I'm gonna have to buy some more cornstarch soon. And I just that I got all my other since I was again, I've been, I've been I was doing the show earlier today. And I got my other stuff kind of dirty. Oh, dirty, dirty boy. Okay, so that's okay. I know this is like the worst to measure with this, but it is what it is. Okay, so a quarter cup. Okay, so we got a quarter cup of uh, cornstarch to go with a half a cup of flour. Okay. Okay, down, down. Where's, uh, where's my teaspoon? Mm. Where's my, did I, wasn't I just using it? No, I think it's dirty and then. Uh, right, we'll use this. This is fine. So half a teaspoon of baking powder. Half a teaspoon? Of, yeah, teaspoon. Man, I need a teaspoon. This is not gonna cut. This is too much. This is too big. I don't wanna I don't wanna go overboard. Don't I have teaspoons here? I don't have teaspoons. Man, don't tell me that. Fuck it, what are we gonna do? Do it live! Okay. Yeah, because I don't wanna go overboard, like I said. Okay, so half a teaspoon, that's half a teaspoon here. Okay. We got one teaspoon of salt. Definitely needs salt in there, so whole teaspoon. And then a third of a cup of wa uh, soda water, so we got this for the soda water. Okay, so we're just gonna mix all this together. Let me... I'm actually gonna need 
this. Okay, but we're not making the batter yet, okay? We'll add the rest later. I just wanted to get this out of the way, again, to help me kind of get everything done, okay? And then, you know, we're gonna need, I'm gonna need to create other recipes uh, to, to use this coconut. I feel like I have, I bought so much coconut. <laughs> Uh, yeah, don't, I mean, yeah, I had one of those days yesterday. I went to the store to shop and, um, okay, so let's just, uh, let's focus. I got all this flour stuff all over me. <laughs> Let me read the chat real quick, see what you guys are up to in there. I broke it. No, oh, by the way, thank you so much, Lodak. I appreciate it for your help. Man, this is, uh, I, it, I hate when, they, when the whole chat kind of falls. Because again, there's no need for it. Because on all the other live streams, on all the other live platforms, you know what I mean? It never falls. It just, you know, we wait until the internet comes back on or whatever happens, you know? Okay, so what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna, you know, get my uh, helmet cam on. Actually, I need to get the new battery in there, I forgot. So what we're gonna be doing now, okay, let me just clean up in the meantime, is I'm gonna get the helmet cam on because we are going to be cutting up, not cutting up, we're gonna be doing the shrimp. So I wanna, I wanna make sure you guys see what's going on with that. Because I'm gonna clean them real quick and then, you know, the whole process. Let me just put in the new battery real quick. Got flour everywhere. But yeah, it is, it is just so annoying. Uh, it's so annoying when uh, when the whole thing falls because it's like later on, you know, later on when uh, when I upload the videos, it's like two separate videos. And it's like man, it's just it's supposed to be one video. It's like, so last time, you know, the, the last episode that was actually um, taking a, uh, you know, when we, we lost internet um, and it was taking a long time to kind of like get back on, the whole time, you know, the whole YouTube thing was still going and going and going and going. And, and then we had like no internet for a long time, literally no internet. And yet, you know, right now, you know what I mean? When we just kind of had like a little bump in the road, which is probably their fault on their end, all of a sudden now like I lose like the whole freaking connection. I know, I'm just here complaining about the stupid ass. Uh... All right, let me see how much on the timer we have. Oh, timer is almost okay. So it's almost ready. So we're about to check on that as well. Let me get the camera going. Shout out to everyone out there.
Oh yeah, it's like it's super annoying, especially like, you know, I'm baking this thing in here and now I have to... What's going on here? Oh Jesus, man. Fuck. So timer, okay, timer's done. All right, so we're just gonna take a look real quick. All right. Oh yeah, it's still got ways to go. It looks raw. Yeah, so I'm, I'm gonna put up the... All right, so I'm gonna turn up the temperature a little bit actually. And I'm going to re-add another 25 minutes to the timer. Okay? Okay. As soon as I hook up the camera over here. I'm trying to think of what, uh, what oil I could use. Okay. We got the GoPro back on. Okay, so yeah, I'm just trying to figure out what kind of oil I can use in order to, um, to fry these guys in, but whatever, I'll figure that out later. All right, so what we're gonna be doing now is I'm gonna be cleaning these shrimp real quick. Okay, so here are the shrimp as you guys can see, so we're gonna start cleaning these guys off. All right. Um, where can I put these guys? Yeah, you know what, Thanks. Good, good. Okay, so this is, you know, very simple. I know you've probably seen this a bunch of times, you know, on how to clean shrimp. All right, a little tutorial, nothing crazy. Okay, we got a fork. So, you know, super simple. You know, again, we're gonna wash these guys again. Okay. We're going to leave the tail on, okay? So that way it'll be easier for us later, you know, to, to clean the, you know, to whatever these guys are. I'm going to, I want to put this, should have thought about that first. All right, I'm going to save the shells so I can make a broth later, okay? So, man, we're, I don't know, man, I think the knife's outside. Nice. small carrying leg is being used. So we'll just go with the big guy, all right? So basically, you know, touch some running water. Here you go, clean, clean this guy out, okay? And so in this case, you know, we're actually gonna cut them a little deeper than we would normally, because I'm gonna show you why, all right? But basically, we're gonna like gonna crush them up a little bit like that. Okay. But that way we can do the coconut shrimp. Okay, so see, it'll look like that. Shrimp is that we are butterflying the shrimp. Okay? 
So you see, that's another little vein there, but no big deal. <coughs> So, yeah, so I don't have all that, I'm not wasting all that water, there's running water. We're going to do this in steps, okay? So we're just going to peel it. Just have a little rice, all right? I'm going to peel these real quick. Peeling the shrimps, so make some coconut shrimp. Yummy, yummy. Did I put the timer on? I did not. Okay, so I forgot the timer. So I'm gonna put it, I put the timer on. Completely forgot about it. Good thing I remember now. So yeah, what we're gonna be doing <clears throat> um, with those shrimp shells is just make some stock with it, okay? So I'm just saving it to make stock for something completely different. So, you know, we're peeling the shrimp now. Peeling the shrimp sucks. You know, I don't like peeling shrimp either. And by the way, yeah, I know, you can, uh, I got the fork, you know, to, to do that. You know, you can go like this with the fork. But it's the same thing. You ain't trust me, it's the same one. It takes just as about as long as if I were to just, you know, peel it and then cut it open. And the other way, I'm <clears throat> the way with the fork, I'm actually tearing it apart as opposed to using the knife, which is the preferred method. So, you know, one can argue that this takes longer than the fork, but I could easily argue that the fork not only takes longer, but <clears throat> leaves you with an inferior product at the end. I feel like this, uh, this is better, especially since we are, <clears throat> you know, we're going to be crushing it a little bit. Not crushing it, I'm sorry, butterflying it, since we're going to be butterflying it. Even more so. This is important. You know, we gotta make sure that we use a knife so that way I'm not, uh, I'm not destroying the shrimp. Yeah, hopefully um, I'll have these uh, these shrimp ready to go for the next episode. I'm gonna put this in here. All right, I'll add the, the water in a bit. Again, there's many ways to kind of like butterfly it. This is just how I'm doing it. Yeah, 
Yeah, because I also don't want to like. Uh, You know, crush it too much. Mm. You know, I don't want to. I don't want to go too deep in the butterfly. Um, to the point where. Look at the, the deep little, see that's what I'm saying, like, you know, when people are like, hey, you gotta take out the little vein and this and that. You know, the reality is, that look at how deep they have, you know? And nobody ever butterflies shrimp, okay? Trust me, like this. But, uh, but yeah, anyways. The reason we're butterflying it, this is like a little trick to make the shrimp a little bigger. But at the same time, in, in this case, in this particular, you know, case, what we're doing with the shrimp more than anything else is um, so that when it's frying, because remember, it's coconut shrimp and coconut is going to burn quickly, pretty quickly. So the idea is for it to be, you know, uh, meaty, you know, you still got like some meat without it being too thin. All right. Still want to have some shrimp. And I just, you know, it's just batter. So. I better hurry because I also forgot I got the podcast today. And I'm still a little upset over uh, the live stream, you know, dying, but you know what, I'm not, I'm not sweating and I'm going to just end up uh, editing. I'm going to end up just editing both together and then just re-uploading Pineapple Palooza. Uh, re-upload the full pineapple palooza later on I guess Yeah, because like at, the, at the end of the day, um, I also I forgot that I'm making the tepache. And the tepache is uh, not going to be finished till Thursday. So, I'll just probably like patch it, patch it all up together and re-upload the full, complete, you know, pineapple palooza. Um, this weekend. Or something like that. If 
by the way, guys, tomorrow, by the way, tomorrow, we are going to be, uh, we're going to be making uh, Cuban food. We're going to be making some black beans tomorrow. So I'm going to try to remind, you know, you guys to soak some beans for tomorrow. But I might forget. So just FYI, Ermin, in case I don't soak any beans by the end of the night, by the end of the episode, don't forget to soak them, all right? Soak some black beans. Because we're making some black beans tomorrow. You can soak as many beans as you want because, you know, again, depends on how many you want to make. I'm actually going to be soaking a quarter of the bag. Okay. Oh, I can. I can. Now, I, now I'm really smelling the dessert. So I'm gonna check the oven as soon as I'm done here. Almost done. Almost done. God, I hate. I hate peeling shrimp. I think everybody. Does. But they're so good. They are so worth it. Right? And I heard I heard wonderful things about this recipe. Yeah, I can, I, I can smell the dessert already, so let me check to make sure it's not burning or going too hot in there. Shout out to everyone out there. All right, still gonna be a little while. Let me turn it down. Looking good in there. Now they were talking to me. All right, so. Mm. All right, so we got the shrimp done. Amen. <clears throat> Damn, man, you know. Man, today's been a long episode. I have a lot of cooking today. I just really, let, let me get some water. Let me at least get the stock going so I'm not wasting any time. Use fresh water, okay? Fresh. Okay. 
Okay, so we, we got this pan back here. We're gonna use some oil on it. All right, we got some cooking oil back there. Let me see anyone in the chat. Nobody there but you and the Russians. Yo, you know, like again, I'm not too worried about the whole uh, uh, YouTube thing. The YouTube thing for me, more than anything else, is actually works for, um, how do I say it, like a database where all the video, all the information, all the videos, all the everything are stuck here. But like um, other platforms, like when it comes to like Twitch and DLive, they don't hold as much information. But the reality is, is like I'm getting more of my audience from somewhere like Twitch than anything else. I mean, I'm getting a lot of views on Twitch. So, and a lot of views on YouTube as well. But, you know, that's why I'm gonna do like the whole uh, Pineapple Palooza and just like re-upload it, you know, one complete episode because I know there's a lot of people that wanna see the complete episode. It's just gonna suck to have, you know, uh, this thing broken up into two. So that's why I'm gonna do that. Okay, so we're gonna start working on the shrimp. Okay, so we already got, remember, all the dry ingredients for the batter, all the recipes are down below. All the ingredients, okay, so it's the flour, the cornstarch, the baking powder, and the salt. And we got the coconut on the side, okay? So, yeah, hold on, so I got my, there we go. So I'm gonna put this guy, I'm gonna put the head, head cam on again. Back to helmet cam. All right, we're gonna go in here. And grab some of this, uh, hopefully this water's enough, this water will do, you know, let's, uh, let's see. Okay, so third of a cup. So again, we're gonna start off with a third of a cup and we're gonna go from there. Okay, so you guys can see there, all right? I think you guys can see. And if we need to add a little more, we will, which we do. This is way too thick. Still too thick, we're gonna add a little bit. So that's what I'm saying, like, you know, you can't always follow a recipe to the T. You need to know cooking, you know, to help you, because otherwise you'll never know, you know, you'll never know that this is what you're looking for, what, what we got here. What was that? You see, easy peasy. Okay, so we got a nice thick slash slightly, you know, thin batter. Okay. So now we start getting all the shrimp ready. Okay, so we got the oil. We're gonna wait here for a minute though. We're not gonna. I don't want to go into that yet. I want to batter, I want to batter some of these guys, okay? Let's get some of these guys going. this to the side and then <clears throat> this is gonna be super easy guys okay as you guys can see you know from the camera I think you guys can see here too OK. 
Okay, so I think you guys can see right there. Okay. Smelling delicious back here. Everything looks awesome. Okay, so very easy, guys. You guys can see. Okay. Okay, we got good on the head cam there. Okay, so very easy, guys. Okay, this is what we're gonna do. Okay. And then that's it. Just st stick it in here. Oh. You know, I just realized, uh -oh. I forgot, I needed to add, uh, it's not just coconut, I need to add some panko to this. Oh my god, I forgot. So I gotta add some panko bread, bread crumbs to this. Man, a good thing I remembered right now. So if you guys don't know what panko bread crumbs are, it's Japanese bread crumbs, okay? Not much, but just enough to... There we go. They're mucho better. See, they help with, with the sticking on the... So we're going to get a couple of these guys kind of going and then we're going to do them all okay look at that look how beautiful that looks okay now that's looking good so let me turn the, the fire on over here and let's get some oil so let me make sure yeah this is fine. again we don't need a lot of oil It's just fryer oil that we we'll use for a bunch of things, okay? I'm gonna put this on kind of medium low, all right? But as you guys can see there, we're not using a lot of oil, okay? Like that much oil, okay? Like just a, just a thin coat of oil, all right? So we're gonna keep battering these guys up, okay? So, see, very simple. And then we toss it in here, okay? By the way, so again, I've never made coconut shrimp before. This is the first time I attempt this. I've, I mean, I've made coconut shrimp, but I, it was like another recipe. Um, and I, it was at a restaurant a long ass time ago. We got Gizmo out there crying like a little beep. Don't get me started. Okay, so. I think you can hear them back there. So, get rid of that, put it in there. But as you guys can see from the finished, Gizmo! But as you guys can see from the finished product here, or not the finished, but like uh, the pre-fried product, and look how big they look. Look how awesome they look, okay? So let's just uh, get this going, all right? We got Gizmo out there chasing the cats, going crazy. You know, he's helping with the dialogue during these scenes because since I'm already kind of like running, I'm running on fumes and I still got to do the show later, right? We got the podcast later. But I think we're going to be all right for the podcast. We have a lot to talk about. Man, by the way, shout out to Bob Saget, you know? Uh, Bob Saget unfortunately passed away. So yeah, this aired the day after he... He passed away. America's dad. If there was anyone that would be America's dad, that was the guy. I mean, everything about him. You know, the fact that he was uh, G-rated. 
but then like almost like X-rated. You know, if you know his comedy, you know him personally. I don't know what I'm talking about, Bob Saget. <laughs> okay. How are we looking? Okay, we still got a little longer on the oil. So yeah, like um, I'm using this little bowl um, instead of something bigger because again, from experience, from past experience, you know, making all kinds of things like this, um, you, I'm just gonna end up with more waste at the end. Where here, you know, oh, timer's gone. Okay, time for a little two second break. Yeah, I wanna get all this shrimp. Turn this off. Okay, let's double check. All right, we're, we're looking good. I don't want to burn it. It doesn't, it doesn't look as brown as the one she made. I wish I could. Uh, I don't know, there's no broiler, I don't think. But anyways, I'm gonna let it sit in there for like another two more minutes. Okay. But it's uh, it's done on the bottom, but it seems like the top is not done yet. You know what I mean? I don't know, I could be wrong. It just seems a little too blonde for my liking still. So I'm gonna turn it. I guess turn it down a little bit, make sure it doesn't burn too much. So the thing is that the, the heat is only coming from the bottom. So I don't know how it would, uh, you know what, let me, let me just take it out. I would rather take it out um, early <laughs> as opposed to uh, finding out later the hard way that we burnt it. I think we're good. Look at this, it looks amazing. I think we're good. Yeah, let me, uh, yeah, we're done, we're done. It is, it is a, a done. Okay, so here, you can see, here, let me, hold on. So many moving parts here. Okay. So there you go, look what it looks like. Ta-da! Yeah, I think we're fine, we're fine. You know, it was already a little more, yeah, it would have gotten darker, but at the same time, it would have uh, burnt the bottom. The bottom, it's not burnt. The bottom is not burnt, thank God, but it does. You know, we're getting close. We're getting close to being burnt back there. So, in the meantime, let's, uh, now that I got my hands clean, I think I'm gonna just finish adding all of this. It's totally fine. Because, whatever, I got so much coconut anyway. And we're just gonna add some more panko there. And that's it. So that's gonna be enough. gonna be plenty. Where's, uh, I think I had, I'll just use this for now. That's gonna be enough. Just give that a quick little mix. It's hot in the kitchen. Woof! All right, man. So I started cooking at 1230. It is already five, so we've been at it a long time, mucho long time in the kitchen. Before I forget, let me get the beans out. Okay, so this is for later. So again, please don't forget to soak some black beans if you want to cook with me tomorrow, okay? Um, we're gonna be soaking a quarter of the bag, all right? So, all right, let's finish up here. I think the oil, the oil's already getting nice and hot. So yeah, here, you know, what we're trying to do more than anything else 
is uh, get it nice and covered. As you guys already know, um, you know, um, th this batter eventually see it starts caking up, you know, because the batter and all that other stuff is in there. All right, so let's just get this back on. I want to make sure it's hot, but not to the point where. Let me. All right, we're not that hot yet. I don't want it to burn. Okay, we got the <clears throat> the stock back there. It overspilled. Let me turn this on. Hope you guys are enjoying this view and it's not making you guys dizzy or anything. Hopefully you guys can see. Yeah, but these coconut shrimp are looking mighty awesome, to tell you the truth. So yeah, I think we're gonna be doing two batches. Oh, what am I doing? So we're gonna be doing two batches here. But yeah, I needed to add, you know, more in here because I can already tell. It's already getting clumpy. You don't want it to be too clumpy. You want to make sure it sticks. Okay. So, I mean, you know, that's, you know, some dishes like this, unfortunately, what sucks about them is that there is a little bit more waste than you would like. You know, this is a bit, let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Because I think it was like 10, 11, right? One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right, so this one, and then we're gonna fry the rest. Right. Now we're gonna finish the other ones. Okay, so we're gonna get these guys in the fryer. See, it's getting kind of clumpy again. But that's going to be enough for everything we got to do. I'm not making any more batter. I mean, not making any more of the dry either. Okay, so there we go. We got a full pan. So let's get these guys in. All right, let's turn this guy up here. No, is it? Yeah, it's still too. Hey, stupid pan. Stupid fan. Okay, so it's still too cold. I thought it was hotter. All right, we're gonna wait on this, okay? And then I'm gonna make some more. So that'll be like our guide. But yeah, it definitely needs to be hotter. It's kind of doing its thing. get all the cameras going okay sorry <clears throat> I don't want to drive you guys too busy
Oh yeah, shout out to everyone out there hanging out. I'm trying to see where I can put it's still too hot. Let me get this. No, no. No, I get too hot. You see how beautiful this looks? Okay, so this is done. What I'm going to do real quick is just see if I can, you know, now that we're at temperature. Alright, I just wanted to get some of that excess, uh, alright. So let's just stick these guys in there. That's what I'm looking for. Gizmo! Gizmo! He's like, I'm hungry, man. Okay. You see they're doing their thing there. Yeah, I'm gonna wait to bread the rest of these guys because I don't want to keep my eyes off of this. Mira, prueba, prueba aquí uno. En la piña, en la salsita que viene. Ya va a comer, abuela. ¿Es esta? Mhm. Mm es para. All right, so we, we're gonna we're gonna get some taste testers out here. See, I'm, I'm still finishing up over here. I saw that, yeah, it's para la mano. Why come away? Pero que rico. Uy, 
But look at that, so far, so good, right? They look amazing. How they taste? Man, come on, how they taste? Igual delicioso, el mejor que probado en mi vida. All right. <laughs> so, mira. All right, so, cojo una cucharita. Aquí está. Yo le compré el coco. En Soriana, ¿no? En Soriana compré el coco. Tú quieres coco, Rey, yo tengo de sobra. Sí quiero. Sí, sí. Mira. ¿Cuánto quieres? ¿Qué quieres? Este, este, este. Okay. So let's just, okay. Te pongo, te voy a poner este. Sí, okay. All right, so how does it taste? Oh, look, let's check it out. Look how it looks. How awesome is that? Mm -hmm. All right, so we're going to finish these guys up here. Actually, I think we're going to end up, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me just finish this right, okay? And that's it, okay? So you already know, all right, first in the batter, all right, let me turn the fan on for a minute. It is so hot. <laughs> so again, you know, back to what we were doing. Okay, batter. And then we go straight into the mixture. Shout out to everyone out there watching, hanging out with me today. I know we have a lot of viewers out there. So shout out to everyone. It really does suck that. Man, today's episode got uh, got cut in half. I know, I know, YouTube did it on purpose. They they just like, man, this episode is so good. We're gonna we're gonna mess this guy up. 
And I feel like uh, this thing got cut out again. Man, I don't know if it's uh, if we're still recording or not. Is that on the internet or not? So, anyways, I think we're still coming through. I don't know No. Hmm? Yes. Yes, yes, it's paid. Yes, it's Oh, perdón. Sí, soy bien acá. No, pero sí, sí, es que estoy aquí atrás cocinando. O sea, que tengo que hacer prendido. Prueba, Creo que ya están fríos. Sí, ya están ya. ¿No ha quedado rico entonces? Sí. Me imagino que es. Sí. Te pones la cosa con fin encima. Ten cuidado, porque tienes la colita. I think we're still recording, not quite sure. <laughs> but I mean, I, I, I kind of see it here, but I just don't know because like I'm getting now like mixed signals on, on, the, on the computer. So I have no idea. Yeah? Está rico, no? Yeah? All right, she's the best, the best coconut shrimp she's ever had. Delicioso. Um, prenderme a fuego un momentico. Está encendido el gas ahora mismo. ¿Qué es el fuego? Fuego este largo. No lo sabes, no lo busqué. Está fuera. All right, so this, you know, the batter here, it's already getting a little. You know, like I said, you know, um, extra chunky because of, uh, so you see, like at first you probably thought, oh man, I added too much. He's going to be wasting some of that, but not really. See, again, only got four shrimp left. And we're, we're th threading. So this is like, so this is perfect for 22 shrimp, okay? This recipe is perfect for 22 shrimp. ¿Cuánto un kilo? ¿Cuánto un kilo? Sí, pero no, un kilo, pero nada más que esto es medio kilo nada más. Pero tú no viste como uh, lo corté así. So I butterflies. I'm, she's, I'm asking, she's a. Uh, ¿Puedes echarles un, un poquito para atrás? Para? Um, mariposa. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Mariposa, a.k.a. butterfly. ¿Así o más? Pero no, no, para atrás, like, contra el, lo más posible. Yeah, yeah. So, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Butterfly and mariposa. Mm. So we have just enough. <laughs> like, honestly, I feel like adding a little more, but... This is fine, you know. This will do because I don't want to. I don't want to waste any. I don't want to open a brand new coconut thing. So, so está rico entonces. Okay. All right. Hell yeah. Grandma's like, man, this is the best coconut shrimp I've ever had. Yes. A ten. <laughs> That's right. All I need is uh, grandma's approval. Okay, so these right here, these last ones are a little extra chunky. These will be mine. <laughs> hey, no. Yeah, because what I really, yeah, this is already, yeah, this is fine. Uh, a Mr. 
40 o a 50 más el 40. Okay, so these right here, these might uh, oh. these might not come out as good, you know, just, oh, this is the last couple that I'm putting in here. Just simply because, uh, you know, like I said, I don't want to make any more batter. <laughs> I'm hoping to God they stay. All right, whatever. I'll eat these. All right. Just add all these guys in here. Again, shout out to Pablo Koo out there. You know, uh, the local yummy, you know, the local amazing fisherman that's helping us uh, by providing us these shrimp. Um, thank you so much. I don't want to say that sponsor word because you already know YouTube and all these things are always taken the wrong way, but he did provide the shrimp for today's episode. So make of it what you will, all right? So shout out to him. I'm gonna give him a big shout out, a big thank you um, for providing, again, not just uh, the shrimp for today's meal, but the shrimp uh, coming up for Thursday's meal. Okay, so let me, I'm just washing my hands real quick. All right, we're frying these guys up nice and good. All right, just kind of doing a little cleanup here. Nice little cleanup. I don't know what time it is. It's 5.30, my God. Man, I had a lot of cooking today, huh? More than I anticipated. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't think I was gonna be cooking this long. All right, let me let me try this myself to see if they really came out good. First of all, let me try it by itself. Oh, oh man. On point. This is the recipe. Yeah. I make coconut shrimp a bunch of times. This is the recipe, man. Trust me, this is the one. Mmm. Mmm. Muy rico con la piña. A veces lo hacen con manzana. No. O con calabaza, pero piña. Está mejor con la piña. Coco, piña es match. Mmm. Con el ácido. Casa match. Mmm. Mmm. ¿Quieres otro? Sí, me gustó mucho.
Yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying you Oh, you wanted to get a probar pre potre ya o no? It's still too hot, I think. Well, I can cut a little piece. Yeah, right? You want to try it? Okay. All right, so I'm going to cut a little piece of the dessert. Because, you know, we got to try it all, man. <laughs> no get it. You don't want to try it? It's a pleno, pero de piña. No. Esa cosa. Algo parecido. Alright, this needs to cool down more, but... Make it. Oh yeah, this looks good. Mm. Oh yeah, mm. you know, this for the shrimp. Look at that. This is what the, the pineapple dessert looks like. Mm. So good. Right, let me trick the shrimp so I don't burn. We're almost getting there. Ah, the fan. Damn it. Yeah, I was wondering why it's taking so long. Damn it. So this is like the perfect complement, the, the pineapple thing that I made. Huh. Mm. Yeah. 
All right, these are the ones that had the, there you go. Just putting them in a little paper towel here. Yeah, so I'm putting them here because uh, the GoPro died and we're already at the end of the episode. <laughs> Gizmo, get out of here. Oh, hey. <laughs> Alright, and so here we go. We got the shrimp nice and done. They already had like half of the, so by the way, you guys are wondering where are the other shrimp that I fried? We ate them already. That, I mean, we didn't even, we didn't even finish the second batch and we ate them. All right, that's how good they are. So what I'm gonna do now, I can un vasito de esto chiquitico que está Un vasito. Yeah. All right, so remember a couple of these are gonna be a little uglier than usual, gracias only because um, you know there were like the remnants of the batter at the end there but trust me it just is delicious i'll take the ugly ones don't worry okay so we already tried everything okay look at that okay and now we're gonna just add that's it because we're gonna eat all this pineapple salsa we literally ate it all i i separated the perfect amount. And that? Mmm. 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 Oh, good. Mmm. Look at that. And put it like la, I'm la laptop and chalo pa bajito. Eh? There you go. Bam. Look at that. Así es más. Perfect. Okay. And that's it. So, there you go. So, that's it. You know, those are the coconut shrimp. This is the, you know, uh, the, the pineapple bars that we made. We got the pache back here. Uh, we got some shrimp stock. We got 700 dirty dishes that I gotta clean. And uh, we got Gizmo down here waiting for anything to drop so you can eat it. So, guys, thank you so much for joining me today. We had an amazing, an amazing day. We started at 12.30, it is already 5.30, so five hours of cooking, even though we had a uh, separation anxiety thingy in the middle there where we got cut off. So this is part two if you're watching on YouTube or, you know, just the same old thing if you're watching on the other channel. So, all right guys, I gotta eat this shrimp. I gotta clean this up. I gotta take a shower. I gotta, you know, get ready for the podcast and all that good stuff. So, Guys, you already know what's up. If you enjoyed this kind of content, you already know what to do. Don't forget to please like, please subscribe, please share, please hit the bell icon. But more importantly than anything else, please stay awesome. I'll see you guys tomorrow, all right? Oh, by the way, I'm not, I don't got time. But I'm gonna do this before. But remember, soak some beans. If you wanna make some black beans with me, soak some beans. How much? This is 900 grams, let's say 1,000 grams, so like around 200 grams of beans, all right? Or more. I'm just gonna do 200 grams, give or take, okay? All right. 225 grams to be exact. All right, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Thanks again for watching. Bye. Bye. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs>